Hey there, and welcome to episode two of Flash Film Reviews. Tune in to join myself and my co-host Nick in what we hope is an entertaining discussion of Batman 2022. Directed by Michael Reeves and produced by Warner Bros. So, Batman. Batman, yes, Batman. We have seen Batman. That's what we've done today, the Batman. We went and saw Batman. Yes. Any particular reason why we saw it? It's Batman, obviously. Uh, <laughs> you know, it can't really ignore a Batman movie. Um, every Batman movie is something that I think gets pretty popular. It's quite mainstream, isn't it? Yeah. I'm also a big fan of Batman in general. Not just the movies. I like comics and stuff as well. Yeah. Games and everything Batman related, as long as it's good. <laughs> Bit of a Batman connoisseur. Bit of a Batman connoisseur. That's right. I think Batman's just pretty, pretty fucking cool. So... That's my yeah, that's my take. It's a pretty good take. That's a pretty good take on that. <laughs> this is Batman. the Batman 2022. Bit of a vague title. Not really any. It's the one starring Robert it Pattinson. The Batman. The Batman. Yeah. So what's what, what did you your overall impression? Did you like it? Oh yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's probably one of the best Batman movies I think, in my opinion. Where would you rate it in terms of like maybe the Nolan films? Like, would you would you where would you put it? It's definitely better than Rises. I think Rises is the weakest of that trilogy. I'd say it's better than Begins. Probably like near the Dark Knight level. Hmm. I, what about you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would... I, I'm not too crazy about comparing it all. But I, w- I mean, obviously, that's the whole point of this. <laughs> but I will say it was, yeah, really enjoyable. It definitely captured some really cool badass Batman moments that... I enjoyed a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What I liked about this movie is that like uh, the, the Nolan ones, I think they were leaning. I mean, obviously they're really good movies, but they leaned a lot into like the whole hyper realistic thing. And I feel like Batman's not really realistic and it's better when you kind of go into a more like a slightly more like fantastical side of it. Yeah. I mean, because in this movie, it's like real ish stick. It's sort of like half realistic and i like that sort of approach yeah so it kind of plays into the the more comic yeah. sort of aspect with the roots of it's, where it came so, from yeah, right? sort of combining like the outlandishness of comics with like you know like a more grounded approach as well yeah kind of the grittiness yeah it's just a really well-made movie honestly like regardless of all the other stuff it's just like a very well-directed movie i think it was pretty well written as well yeah so I guess we'll go on to spoilers. We'll say spoilers. I don't know when this is going to be released. Might be released like two years from when we see it. But <laughs> we'll say spoiler un- warning. Ne- not relevant at all. Not but. relevant. <laughs> but a spoiler, spoiler warning. warning. We'll definitely get into some spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's about Batman following these like case of murders <laughs> by the Riddler. Who is definitely spooky. a lot different than he's usually depicted in other Batman stuff. Yeah. But it was a good change. Uh, so the riddle is killing all these people and Batman's trying to go around to figure out why and he sort of uncovers this big conspiracy around it and um, lots of other characters involved like Catwoman and the Penguin. The Riddler was a highlight of this movie. He's maybe one of the weaker Batman antagonists. Well, you know, this is just wacky. a guy who makes crimes and then like it's like, oh, riddle me this, Batman. <laughs> but they try to ground him a bit more in, like, yeah, in sort of a realistic sense basically it's like the zodiac killer yeah true actually yeah it was pretty creepy as well he like streamed you know tiktok <laughs> like t- the t- during the film he's like streaming these like his live hey guys <laughs> uh welcome back to the riddle of fucking show <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit that was a bit silly but it was funny <laughs> it was funny yeah so anything you like disliked in particular about the the film uh going on to that like point that part of the movie when the the Riddler was caught. I thought the you know him just like his entire plan just revolves around like his fans, the fans of like his live streams just shooting people. True. It's like <laughs> a blind faith. I feel that like, they yeah, were... that's a bit. I was a bit silly. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he hired these people. He just expected them to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, they do, but like that's kind of flimsy in my opinion. Yeah, for someone who was quite methodical with all the other crimes that he did. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's like he was like in control of everything else and all of a sudden these other people are doing it. Yeah, that's a bit of a contradiction there, I guess, in like the writing or the, just the general plot. Um, anything else in any big sort of over... Th- not really. I felt, I felt the Batman was just too too strong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's sort of like his armor is just basically like invincible in this movie. Like it was cool, obviously, 
but you know he didn't really feel like he was in danger any of the time except in, like there's only like a few scenes where he's like really struggling yeah like the, yeah one of the riddler's like henchmen or you know followers shot him uh, point blank with a shotgun and like he was all right in a piss just, just a little winded a little bit winded it seemed <laughs> yeah. like maybe he broke a few ribs and then he just pulls out this i don't know adrenaline <laughs> shot pumps in his leg yeah that'll do and it. then it was just that'll do it i'll get back up and yeah and i guess yeah to elaborate on your point like that when the hero's just too um just not challenged physically i guess especially in an action film like this and maybe it's a not not as interesting because it kind of gets rid of the suspense or any sort of you know, but you can't really suspend disbelief for too long when there's um, a character who can just like get through anything no matter what. He had his psychological challenges though, but yeah. yeah. A, a lot of the action scenes in this movie just succeed on like the rule of cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything yeah. is just cool. I love that. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes is probably when there was this car chase scene with the penguin and the Batman and there's just a point where he kind of, it was chaos on the road. The penguin like, you know, bumps into a truck and the truck turns yeah, yeah, around yeah. and it's on the highway. And then conveniently when that's happening, you know, the fucking ramp comes out. A ramp comes way. out. So then Batman can shoot up the ramp on shoot his Batman the ramp, and come out of the fucking fire. Come over the explosion it's of fire. Really, it, it's epic. It's, it's epic. Yeah. I, I mean, it makes, doesn't make a lot of sense. It's probably the least logical <laughs> bit in the entire movie, but it's cool. It looks like visually it looks awesome. It's pretty like, epic. Yeah. I like that moment. Did you have a favorite sort of sequence or? My, well, my favorite bit is just before that they confront the penguin and shit yeah and then batman gets shot it's like oh he disappears and then all of a sudden like you hear like the batmobile boot off. revving that engine yeah, yeah. Off the engine. that was <laughs> really cool yeah like that that batmobile is pretty sick yeah and the sound design for the engine was also really cool it was super cool super like i don't know i'm not into cars or anything but it had that super like i don't know fucking rev when you rev that engine it's got that like i don't know visceral sort of yeah yeah i mean it had a jet engine on it <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to sound pretty fucking beefcake like yeah no it just it just lightly hums <laughs> yeah like, yeah it's like a lawnmower just <laughs> it's like a mobility scooter yeah mobility sc- <laughs> batman and a mobility scooter going around <laughs> you know he needs to retire at some fucking point get a bat scooter <laughs> Going to the store, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred's now just a robot. He died a while ago. <laughs> Old Batman. Oh, yeah, that was another thing I didn't like about this movie. Not enough Alfred. I didn't like the Alfred. I don't think Andy Serkis is the best choice for Alfred in general. I feel like it was just a sort of like a typecast kind of thing. Or I don't know, maybe just one of those casting choices you give because everyone knows Andy Serkis because he's always playing in some sort of movie, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm vengeance. It, it, it's not trying to be, you know, hyper realistic or whatever. Just some moments felt a bit, a bit, I don't know, I guess I'd call it wacky, but I guess that's sort of the, like an homage to the comics in a way, probably some of those moments. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Some, it's like some moments were just kind of, I could make fun of it, but that's just probably me. What I do for every movie is I just make fun of some part of it because it's kind of funny. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of things just kind of funny out like especially out of context yeah but like do you have any examples like specifically you want to bring up um like there was i don't want to ruin the best moment of your film but there was like what you just gave an example for your like favorite moment but when he was roving the engine penguin was standing right on the other side he just stood there for like at least like 10 seconds just looking in disbelief like oh when he's revving the engine about to like you know go at him when he could have just a <laughs> he's gonna go what? Oh. that's unheard of yeah but that was part like i think if you did the real, you know, what would be the logical thing to do and just ran away or whatever, then it would just lose the, the moment. Like the moment would be there because the whole point is to show his reaction. Like, oh, fuck, look at this guy, you know? But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could just make fun of it. Or I had to like at the start of the film, <laughs> what just went in my head was that like, uh, there's there's a moment where Robert Patterson or, you know, the Batman sort of slowly comes out from the shadows and he's like, oh, fuck, look, he's supposed to be the scary figure to all the all the criminals and vengeance <laughs> yeah but i was just thinking on the reveal there's just this photo online of robert patterson's like randomly and awkwardly standing in a kitchen <laughs> <laughs> and i just thought it'd be so funny if, he, if if robert patterson in this fucking like adidas sort of like you know sports like yeah. jacket just came out and just was just like <laughs> i'm your, vengeance your imagination betrays you it does <laughs> yeah it was just so funny i'm just expecting <laughs> this derpy Robert Pattinson <laughs> yeah, it's come out. added ass jacket just to suddenly appear oh I forgot to mention one other thing that maybe was a bit uh, well something that maybe I disliked more was that Bruce Wayne was 
quite like he was a bit edgy and emo and there was just uh, it's a fine line between going just too far but then not enough so that you don't really hit the mark you know nick and i were making jokes after the film like that he was like you know an edgy going through his like you know teen years (laughs) and just complaining to alfred like make me cereal alfred alfred i want mac and cheese for dinner (laughs) i don't need hope for my homework alfred god damn it what's five plus (laughs) ten get out of my room alfred Oh, like when he's like, Alfred's like helping him solve some riddles. I just imagine like, I don't need your help. <laughs> it's just kind I of I could do it myself. Uh, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm Batman. Yeah. But he's that, that, cool. that Bruce Wayne would definitely be tough, uh, tough to handle growing up. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was imagining. Yeah. But uh, like, apart from that, like, yeah, I think, it, I think that was that whole, the whole point of the, the star. And if you did anything different, then it wouldn't really work for the film so it, it did work they did it well yeah it's not like this like cringy over overly edgelord kind of batman no <laughs> he's, he's like like cool edgy yeah um yeah i don't know um i think the joke is now one of just a very in, oversaturated character yeah he really is but obviously you know he's he's, he's a pop the joker is the most popular and he's like he's probably the best batman villain I mean, yeah, I don't think that's much of a question, but like he is very oversaturated. Yeah, and they're they're kind of alluding. Well, they're obviously yeah, they're gonna make another film because that's just these days, you know. You it's like, yeah, it's definitely gonna make a like. I think it ha- already has made like a lot of money. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. That would be really cool. <laughs> It'd be cool. But the thing is, they're alluding to the Joker at the end of the film there, oh, yeah. and I guess it's like another Joker movie. Yeah, I don't. That's not what I would want. <laughs> really. Don't really want a Joker movie. I mean, there's so many other Batman villains they could pull from. Yeah. What would you want to see? Um, you know, like an actual good like Mister Freeze <laughs> would be nice. Yeah, true. Not just like Arnold making silly eyes. <laughs> I, mean, I I kind of have a soft spot for that, for that like <laughs> Batman and Robin is like so bad it's good. Yeah, it's like the cool down, <laughs> cool party. <laughs> yeah, it's so many of those are just such a good. But line. like, uh, you know, he's like actually like a pretty good character. <laughs> yeah, he is, and he's pretty like he's pretty scary and can be done well. Yeah. I remember playing Arkham City and then just that like my computer or at the time I was had this shitty Toshiba laptop when I played the game for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> and in the section that um that you know Mr. Freeze was in in the games, like it would always just crash. <laughs> so I saw a lot of that Mr. Freeze, but yeah, I think it would be I think it would be great to explore that again. That's not just Arnold, yeah, doing those puns. It's not, not just Mr. Freeze. I mean, there's so many so many villains. Yeah, you're well versed with all that. I, I don't know as many. Yeah, <laughs> Batman and Robin also like ruin like Poison Ivy. Maybe I I don't think Poison Ivy is the strongest Batman villain, but like she could definitely be done done interestingly yeah scarecrow i feel like the scarecrow in like uh batman begins he's not really like the main antagonist so maybe they could do something where he's like the whole like the big the big guy he's a pretty good villain yeah the whole fear gas thing is pretty cool it's pretty sick idea. Some good visuals yeah there's so many actually creative ideas just coming out from those yeah, comics and the original material like you can work with you could There's do so much to work with. You yeah. could do so much. Yeah, not just another Joker movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would actually be so disappointing. I, then, I right? mean, yeah, obviously, like another Joker movie would probably be pretty good. And it's not like they're just going to hire some guy off the street to play the Joker. No, uh, I wasn't super impressed by whoever played him at the end of the. It might be the Joker. I don't, I don't know. It's probably is, but I, I, I wasn't think impressed is, but... by this guy. No, they just it didn't he... sound very creepy. He just sounded like a guy, and then he started laughing. Laughing just. <laughs> he just started laughing yeah, he just started laughing he's like oh it might be the joker i don't know yeah <laughs> <laughs> at least it's not jared leto i guess <laughs> poor guy that's possibly the weirdest version of joker they've ever put to screen <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know who was thinking like that was a good idea i mean we basically yeah we want to see a different villain and there can be so much to be done there yeah that's why they should pick the polka dot man let's go <laughs> freaking go the best villain there's a lot of bad ones <laughs> <laughs> Is that, yeah yeah that's so funny that's so funny kill him off i want to see a kill him off movie kill him off he's just a guy yeah he's a guy he has like he just in a moth suit he's a guy in a moth suit he's got like moth wings like a ray gun yeah it's just the pinnacle of villainy really <laughs> <laughs> that's that sounds so funny <laughs> flies around shoots people with every gun just to kill him off I don't know if he even kills people <laughs> what's the point of his name 
Just to kill him off, dude. Just, just, if someone can make a good story around kill him off, I'd be surprised. Oscar. Instant. Instant Oscar. <laughs> Best screenplay. There was this good story I heard about like, that like developed like one of Batman's like shitty villains. It's like I haven't even read it, but it was like Kite Man. Kite Man is another one of like Kite the worst Man. villains. I honestly thought you were making shit up, but I'm this not is making no, shit up. These I are thought... real characters. Oh, no, kill him no. off. Kite Man. There's worse ones. Kite Man. He's just a guy. He he has like he's like an evil Batman and all of his stuff is kite themed. So he's got like a kite glider. He's got like kite weapons. <laughs> like throws God. kites at people. That's just so funny though. Basically just glides around on giant kites. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not this guy again. <laughs> it's the kite man. It's a fucking kite man. <laughs> but if someone can write a good story about kite man, you can do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. You are just built different, I guess. Just a new villain. That'd be fantastic. That would be sick, yeah. I mean, we're talking about Joker being oversaturated, but Batman is, on that same note, pretty oversaturated as well. But you, I, I don't know. I, obviously, you can't get enough of it. <laughs> and I can't get enough of it as well. It's so, I don't know. It's Batman. It's just Batman. But, you know, it's, it's like, it's the main character. Like, this is, you got to have, if you want Batman stuff, you got to have Batman in it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have a Batman movie. Unless you're, like, making, like, something about, like, his sidekicks or whatever. Yeah. That could be interesting. What about if they explore, like, just... I mean, maybe there already has been a few things done about this, but like just Robin or something has like it been. Robin hasn't really been explored in any movies. No, it's just if the next movie is just like the same old Batman Joker thing. I, it'll probably be good, but it wouldn't be like something I'd be awfully excited to see. Yeah, I would have to agree with you there. So, what's your final consensus? What would you rate the film? What would you say? Would you recommend it? I would. I would highly recommend this movie. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty freaking good uh i really liked it uh, aside from all the uh, basically nitpicking all of this trope like the minor problems so i'd say i really liked it what about you i would have to completely agree <laughs> it was there was some awesome moments it's entertaining it's batman <laughs> it's batman <laughs> If you like Batman, if you like me, just seen seen some of the Nolan films, seen some of the other content, then you're going to enjoy this movie. So yeah, just fucking go see it. Just fucking see it, bro. Never <laughs> come <laughs> but more thanks, man. No way, you made it to the end of the episode. This is great. Just want to say a special thanks to Morgan. Uh, he produced the music for today's episode and links for him will be below. See you next time.